right, Matt. So last week you and I played what was kind of a mediocre Dark Souls style game in space. Right. Uh, it was fine. It, it was okay. It was yes. okay. It was fine. And this week we are going to play a Dark Souls game. But is it? But am it? But is it? Question mark. A question mark. So welcome back to <laughs> Dojo, everybody. I'm Jeff. I'm Matt. Uh, you have to you have to watch the video all the way to the end to find out. Is this actually a dark stole stole start bop start bark bark bar? Is this actually a garp garp kablarp blarp or narp narp garp garp garp? Blarp. So you know, um, uh, what is this frog fractions? <laughs> like this is frog uh, fractions. I was gonna say, mortal shell. Yes. What is this? A gamera game? Please say it's a gamera game. It's Please. not it's a turtle. So you get to be a turtle, right? Not a gamera. You gotta game. be a turtle. It's not a gamera game. I Matt, it's not a gamera. I've game. been watching that box set that I worked on. on and, oh no. Let's do this. Alright. Oh. Beyond the grip of the familiar threshold demands to be crossed. The mortal shells yearn for meaning. Awaiting a glimpse of their true purpose. Ooh. So full disclosure, okay. uh, Michael and I played the demo for this for I believe for Patreon. Okay. Uh this is the beginning is the same, but then it gets all what is this different. Prometheus? Uh uh, oh. A lot of Rick and Morty noises today. Oh, wubble dub 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 grass <laughs> tastes bad. So, uh, this this, you know, it's funny actually. This guy looks a lot like the guy from Hellpoint, just like less oh, yeah. cyber. Uh, yeah, he's just straight up like he's a little bit more hmm. less spawn, more uh, more more uh, guys from Prometheus. Hellraiser. Oh yeah, the the uh, uh, the pre uh, uh, what what are architect uh, the architects right the, or some, something? Uh, some, ah, who knows? Bullshit. I was gonna say precursor, but the precursors are the uh, guys from Pacific Rim. The uh, the crap the crap things that are crap. That's what the guys from Prometheus Whoa. are called. So okay, Matt, let's talk about mechanics. Okay. So you know, in the previous game, it was just Dark Souls. Right. Not the case here. Oh, okay. So instead of blocking you never have a shield instead of blocking you harden your body oh this does not this is a block but it, when you get hit when you're hardened it immediately takes the harden off you take no damage you take no stamina damage and it's on a cooldown so there's not the same mm. like uh so here i'll show you when the guy attacks you harden and then you just like you do that oh, so uh, yep you also have um a a dodge and a roll and so that's hard. Uh, this is the tutorial for hard. So bye bye. Oh, oh, uh, oh. So buddy. that's a little strange, right? Yeah, that is. That, oh. That's completely different than Dark Souls stamina management, where block is a cooldown. Mm -hmm. And it just happens for one hit. That changes everything, every single thing. Like, mm. um, it also means it also interrupts when the uh, other when the person that you're fighting. I thought he was blocks. just gonna destroy the statue. Uh, so this is the hallowed sword. This is what you start out with. Uh -huh. I like this a lot better than the gigantic ass one uh, that they showed. So here's part two. Um, when you are attacking, you can harden right in the middle of an attack. So hold on, let me see if I can actually do this. Nope. God fuck. God damn it. So if you go to attack. You can harden like right in the middle of a combo. Uh, uh -huh. So if you go to attack, God damn it! I just I need it to. I, the little thing in the corner needs to come back. Just fucking fuck off! You fuck off! No, you fuck off! All right. <laughs> no, so you're going you to attack somebody, and then right in the middle, you can harden to basically continue your combo. Wow. So you can essentially do. Uh, I don't know why it's not letting me continue with the tutorial here. Um, this is also. Very strange, you know. In Dark Souls, you normally like you have to choose between blocking and attacking. You can't just start blocking right in the middle of an attack animation and then continue that attack afterwards. And not just that, but like if somebody jumps at you and you harden and your sword is in the middle of an attack, that attack will hit them as they jump onto the sword. Okay. Which is very, very, very strange. I uh, saw a little of this during one of those Summer of Gaming uh, videos. Yeah. And I remember... It was this part, wasn't it? No, it wasn't this part. It oh, was okay. much further along. And I remember thinking, like, this just looks like Dark Souls. But I granted, I didn't watch a whole lot of it. I went the wrong way. Oh. It's all, it's all gray. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's easy to get nah, turned yeah. around. And now I'm just sitting here. I'm like, okay, no, that mechanic really does 
change everything. So yeah, it really does. Um, this is this, uh, this is some bullshit. Uh, uh, this is basically going into your inventory, equipping consumables, using consumables. That's all that part was. Okay. Um, what is interesting? No Estus flasks huh. in this game. Uh, no rechargeable health in this game. Um, you pick up certain items in the environment, and then there are some mechanical ways that you heal yourself, but there's not this, like, you got to get from point A to point B using X number of healing items thing, like in... Uh, God damn it. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, you were going the wrong way fucking. for, like... You turned around uh, for, like, no reason. And it's all just broken shit and gray. Yeah. Um, okay, turn. Yep. Yeah. Okay, now follow the torches. Right. Well, that's okay. what I did, but then I thought I got turned around. Well, no, no, you turned around. Okay. <laughs> so then I go through here. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. It is definitely oh. a whoa. Oh. So this is Pardon? Hattern. Uh, Hattern. I am not going to be able to beat him. I mean, you will see that I do next to zero damage. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe I can maybe, beat him. Maybe. It's going to be a long haul. This is your asylum demon. Yeah. Like beginning, you're supposed to lose here. Uh, but I've actually been playing this game for about five hours okay. today, so so he can also harden. Pattern. Pattern harden. Uh, you know, I'm I'm just gonna let him let him come out. Yeah, at me. I was gonna say this is gonna take it's a gonna while. Be fine. Oh, there it's you go. Fine. And then the big fish comes, Matt. Oh, the mm -hmm. big, the big. Oh, the bell rings. Oh no, the fish bell. He's just like, um, oh, bye bye. Good luck with that, sir. I'm going into the spider web dimension. Whoa. Literally, the big fish. Yep. And then the big fish comes. Uh huh. It kind of looks like a uh, Omu from Nausicaa Valley of the Wind. When I said big fish, did you think I meant like the, the Tim Burton movie? Is that a Tim Burton movie? Wasn't that a Tim Burton movie? Big fish. Who was that? No, I, it was... Uh, I don't know. Not Tim Burton. David Lynch? Y no. No? Terry Gilliam? It was some... It was somebody some weird. weird it was some weird auteur SOB. Um, no, I just didn't know you literally meant a giant fish. Um, <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. Fulgrim. A tower hums where a muted dweller ruminates, ruminates his fate. That oh. doesn't really mean a whole hell of a lot. Nope. So, oh, here we that, go. Did the fish spit you out? Uh, oh, no, the fish. Is that the piece it's, of the fish? Okay, so I am unclear the answer to the question that you are asking. Okay, <laughs> all right, that's fine. Um, what I do know is that we got to get out of here. We got to go through this hole. I'm just thinking of when you uh, showed Jason Dark Souls for the first time, <laughs> and the giant bird comes to pick you up, uh -huh. and he goes, fucking shit, bird, die! <laughs> uh, memories. No, it's, a, it's a friendly bird. And maybe that was a friendly fish? A friendly bird. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. It's got spider eyes. Ah, I also don't know why they like make you go through this uh, being John Malkovich bullshit to get to the game. <laughs> go through the hole. Yep. Come out Come out in uh, John Malkovich. This is the worst roller coaster of all time. <laughs> come ride the tunnel. <laughs> I would, man, I would be freaking out right now. I'd be. Oh yeah, no, you I would not get mm, me to go in there. Mm, mm, I would mm. die in the room with the dead fish. Oh yeah. Uh, to just be like, oh, it's the only way out of here—a very small tunnel. Nope. No, <laughs> sir. I will stay here until I die. That is correct. Mm -hmm. They can rescue me. That fish could come. Oh. Ooh, look at that. R ribbies. Look at there. Yeah. Spare uh, ribs. All right. Oh, so this is the whole thing is some a thing. So here's... Oh. Wait, turn around, turn around. What? Yeah, that's like a dragon or something. It's like they put it there, though. Was it? Was the dragon, like, leaning back, kicking back in chillaxin, and, and then, then it, it just died, died there? I assume. Okay, so... So high that it was like, <laughs> so I'm just going to gonna die. I'm going to die right I'm now. I'm going to die here, man. Okay, so... Uh, where is it? Ah, yes. So here's the thing about... Mortal oh. Shell. Oh. And I, I I have a question for you, Matt. Okay. Um, what would you say 
makes an RPG an RPG? Um, whoa, uh, not, uh, I don't know now. I feel like I'm questioning everything. Uh, I would say, like, just <laughs> This being, isn't a trick. I'm not trying to, like, you know. I mean, I would say a large part of it is being able to uh, customize your character and okay. play the game you would kind of want to play in a certain way. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. Um, there are four... One, two, three, four, as near as I can tell, shells in this game. Okay. Uh, the shell oh. is is how you basically, um, it, it determines your, see at the bottom, the health and armor, or the health uh -huh. and the um, stamina. Uh, stamina bar. Uh -huh. uh, that is fully determined by what shell you are inhabiting. There oh. are, as I said, there are four of them. There is this guy that is like medium. There is a thief that has a lot of stamina and not a lot of health. There is a guy that has a shit ton of health and very, very little stamina. Um, and then there is a He's fourth a one guy. that I haven't seen yet that has a lot of another resource that we're not into just yet. Um, but here's the thing. We're going to get to the point eventually, and I like. The, I also really like this. The whole game will tell you where you're supposed to go just by showing you. Right. You're it's supposed like, to go there. Where go you're there. To go. See that that up there? That's where you're supposed That's to be. Guy. Um, but like each character has a a wheel, like a big wheel mm -hmm. that basically is full of powers that unlock that are things like less uh, or like harden recharges faster uh -huh. or like. Uh, you get more X oh, when well, you kill you Y, right? Uh-huh. But you don't... There are no stats. You don't mess with the stats. The stats are fully controlled by the shell, and you can't make, like, a... Uh, you can't take the shell with all the stamina and then, like, kit out health and give them more health. Oh. So I. that's why I ask what's an RPG, because, like, one of the things that makes Souls Souls is that um, you have all of the customization, right? Right. Whereas here, it appears that you only have basically four levels of, well, you have different weapons, and then you have different shells. But you don't have different armor. You don't have different, like, you can't set, like, light greaves, and then heavy helmet, and then, like, a small shield and an axe, right? Like, right. You don't have that level of granular control, so part of me is curious. And I, as soon as I can tell, I don't know if there's online for this either. Uh, like I don't, I haven't seen anything yet indicating that there's any kind of like invasion mechanics or anything like that. So um, part of me is wants to know, like, so does this count as an RPG? Like, is this game an RPG without the ability, with the very light ability to customize? It's more just like you're choosing your character and then you're picking a weapon. Which, if that's all it takes, then I feel like, you know, Call of Duty multiplayer is an RPG. <laughs> like, yeah, I, I, uh, I was gonna say, I'm, uh, I'm sure there's other examples of like kind of choose your character type games, but um, like I, I just the one that I came out of that popped into my head was Onimusha Four, which at the time that came out, I'm gonna kill four more guys. Everyone was all shitting themselves over the fact that like you can you you can play as multiple characters i mean you know in uh in resident evil you could choose your weapon you could choose your armor mm -hmm. you can like basically do some light kidding for certain types of things so i honestly feel like even though it's got the because the thing is that like i said all of these builds mm -hmm. have to be viable to play the game hmm. right like these four shells since you can't customize them, they can't be broken. <laughs> they just right. have to, like, favor playing X way or playing Y way. They can't, like, just not Th work. That's a... Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I forgot yeah, about no. all the... That's a really unique traps. approach. Yeah. I, I gotta say, I'm honestly kind of impressed at the... At... Someone didn't just make a souls like. Yeah. They said, well, it feels almost like someone had an idea for a mechanic for this I this idea about like what if instead of blocking you just hardened, hardened mid combat. Like this sounds like something that people were kicking an idea ideas people were kicking around. Yeah. And it just sort of got folded into what feels at least aesthetically like a souls game. But like in it, actuality, 
it, it really it's like seems, a third person action game yeah it's a third person action game that kind of feels oh that feels like uh it only oh hi how you doing sester ganessa she is your bonfire oh i shall name you family oh and you may call me sester ganessa all right I'm sure there's porn of these two. Um, <laughs> Matt, this game's been out for like six hours, so <laughs> lots, lots of porn. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to. I'm just going <laughs> <laughs> to. Uh, okay. Fetch me one of his mementos and some tar, too. And I'm sure we can stir up So, mm-hmm. uh, I don't know if I have enough to do this of right course. now. First, you must find his name. Senseless muttering. muttering. Uh, please, uh, Mr. Muttering is my father. Uh, <laughs> I was going to make a muffled cat- catawampus joke. Uh, <laughs> That's good, too. So, uh, so see, the, it's just interesting because, like, here, uh, I do have enough for this. Uh, so the first thing that you have to do, tar, yes. is your is your souls in this game, right? Tar? Yeah. And the first oh. thing that you have to do is discover the name of your shell. Hmm. Because it's a, it's like, Haros. it's a person. It's like a specific yeah. character that you're inhabiting. Oh, I was reading. Uh, oh. They entertain themselves with drunken antics or violent cruelties. They know better than to attack us. But they followed us at a distance, hoping for scraps. Okay. Yeah. Sure. All right. Uh, the other thing is that you, you every so often you get glimpses, uh huh, which you don't lose when you die, and you just keep. But they're specific to your shell, so you have to use this guy and get glimpses in order to unlock these. And this is what I'm talking about. This is the extent of what this character can do differently than other characters. So killing in quick succession to harden. Hardening causes the stamina to rapidly refill. Hard cooldown reduced. Uh, short time. And then you've got like some stuff down here where you've got kicks and uh, foes killed by the blast may draw, say harden in the air to create a devastating area of impact. So you can unlock these, but I think it's pretty much in your... Like, glimpses are not so um, difficult to get that you can just farm them oh. and then unlock everything for everyone, right? Okay. So... Like there really isn't like a uh, like a downside. There isn't like a um, like a you can only do this but not this thing. Um, you can, and so it, I'm going to come back to these. But there's these weapons, and then there's oh. the shells that you can unlock. Oh, and then um, there's this guy. Oh, oh, oh! Hi. Hello. What are you? Well, hello there. This is one of those bloodborne like you're you're not gonna know why you're doing what the fuck you're doing. Ha ha! What? Oh. That's better. Thank Do you. you have a long nose, or is that purely it's decorative? <laughs> since anyone raised a hand toward me in kindness. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Untouched by false truths. Damn. Okay. A small gift, but I expect you will find it useful. Would you grant me another favor? Yeah, sure. Deep within the temples of the devout, you'll find the sacred glands of the... The glands! The glands! The, the clamps! To me, so I can extract... You know what I love about medieval fantasy, Matt? Uh-huh. Everything's misspelled. <laughs> yeah. They're like, put a K in it! Use a Z instead of an S. <laughs> It'll be weird. Yeah. Sir. Not Sester. Sasar. Sester. Sester. The nectar. Nectar. So, Tarnish Seal lets you parry. Uh huh. But parrying is tied to resolve. Uh, okay. So, as you fight that little, see the little yellow pip down there? Yeah. Uh, you have to have one of those. This is how you upgrade your weapons. Uh, right there. Um, <laughs> right there. You have to have resolve. And then if you do that, you can do a critical hit. If you parry into a critical hit, you get health back. 
So, like, you see the mushrooms that I picked up? Uh-huh. Like, those give you back a little bit of health over time. But, like, the main way that you want to get your health back is through the parry system. Oh. Hi. And there's uh, this guy. Hey, buddy. He is, he's a shop. I can tell. Uh, and I'm going to pet his cat. Kitty. Aw. He's like, oh, 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 okay. There we go. Okay. So you got to put. You got to let him sniff you first. You're wearing gloves. It's oh yeah, getting pinching his fur. Oh, okay, bye. So yeah, we're not um, actually gonna buy anything. I don't have uh, enough money yeah, to buy anything. Money. Um, um, so is this whole area kind of the, the, the whole game? There are a bunch of spokes that come off of this primary uh, area. Um, and now, as near as I can tell, like I was surprised when the game was like, "Well, there are four shells," and I'm like, "Well, I have three of them." How long is this game? Like how? How much game is in this game? Okay, well I fucked that up. Whoa, guys. Well, hey. I, I I felt uh, uh, I felt a little bit similar while while playing Ghost of Tsushima. Let's see if I can Tsushima. do a. Uh, see if I can do a uh, parry here. Come on, guys. Well, here, fucking, let's just take out some of these assholes first. Uh, the with the hard mechanic, you are also kind of able to deal with groups a little better than you can in the uh, Souls. Um, Damn, he got me. Gotcha. Got a little piece. Damn. So here's... Oh, God damn it. Guys, I'm trying to demonstrate something. Actually, I should just do it. There you go. There you go. So then you get health back. Oh. And you can do it as many times as you have those pips. That guy's oh. fucked up. He is dead. Uh... So, like, the fact is that the normal, like, health items that you find in the environment, so this is really weird. So you have these mushrooms, you eat the mushrooms, you regenerate 30 health over 30 seconds, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. And you can get more mushrooms, but you literally have to, like, wait for them to grow. So when you get them, this little countdown starts, and when it gets all the way back around, there's more of them there. It's so weird in all the things that it is doing. It's like. It almost, I'm going to go out on a limb here yeah. and say that this might be one of the first true implementation of a Miyazaki style. Here, we're going to find this guy. Uh, a Miyazaki style mentality being approached to a game as opposed to, ah, as opposed to uh, merely trying to copy the Dark Souls aesthetic and approach do you know what i mean like like their mm -hmm. their idea it's not okay we're gonna make it super hard and we're gonna make enemies regenerate and just t check all the boxes and make something a souls like right they are approaching it in a way to where the point is it's a bunch of obtuse shit but once you fit hopefully once you figure it out you, it will suddenly make, it will start to make sense. The logic will reveal itself through exploration of the mechanics of the game to reveal a unique play style. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Um, the, yes. Uh, it's almost like they decide, yeah, it's, it's, you, you hit the nail on the head. Mm. Uh, is that they've decided to, and, and, and what's interesting about it is that because there's not like, because there's not... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, I did not... These guys are a little tougher. Um, yeah. Because there is not a... Um, uh, because you can't, like... Ooh. God damn it. Just here. Do the other one. Do the other one. God damn it. Oh. There we go. There um, you go. Because there isn't, like, a system to let you to let you uh, like make your stats higher your only choice is to get better at playing the game the way it is mm. your only choice is to get good noob <laughs> like that is the only way because there's oh. no there's no way to like you know bully the game by specking strength so hard that you make a giant dad oh, oh shit fuck, and nobody is going to stop you ever in the history of all mankind dark souls kind um you just have to get like better and then the other thing that i find interesting is that these enemy types that we're seeing right now like you can see that we've found the heavier guys and now we've got these archers right right but they're not redonkulously different 
like mm. the, they're mostly humanoids. They're that mostly kinda, guys. Yeah, that look like a dude and act like a dude, and, and they're dude they're dudin it up. And we've really um, only seen like oh, oh. whoa, nice. We've Asshole. really only seen um, one, uh, 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 two things that could be considered inhuman. Yes. Uh, and both of them have been story related. Is this? Can you kill this guy, or you just yeah. leave him alone? No, I'm waiting Aww. for him to get up. He, but he was playing a loot. I wanted his uh, hairy juices. Uh, I wanted juices. to get my health back from him. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I. I'm really impressed with this. Mm -hmm. Also, the fact that it's like thirty bucks, oh, and not a full really? like sixty dollar release. Yeah, it's really? like a mid budget title. Uh, I, I also don't know how long it is. Like some of the stuff with like you know, like I was saying, the four shells mm -hmm. kind of makes me wonder if it's like not redonkulously long. If it's like twelve to twenty hours and not like a billion to infinity hours, like every other video game is. Um, it it is this a Eastern European game? That I don't know. Hmm. I could not answer that question. I it, it it feels like it's in that realm. I I, I but <laughs> maybe uh, maybe this might be a little mean or maybe even a little short sighted. But it doesn't quite have the level of jank that like a <laughs> Eastern European <laughs> mid tier title would have. No, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. A spiders game, a focus interactive uh, mm -hmm. spiders game. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's 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 really what it is. I it it, it seems surprisingly refined, Shit. but, oh. but yet culturally and aesthetically, it seems like something that would not have been made in America. I'm gonna yeah. look that up. I don't know. It's a, it's an interesting question. I don't recognize the studio name that's on it, so yeah. it's very possible. I want to say, I want to say that uh, during the reveal, the gameplay reveal that was in that streaming that stream that I watched, the guys talking about it sounded European. Uh huh. Okay, Mortal Shell releases today. Oh wow, the first not did you have a spoiler, but the first, the first uh, review that come oh, came geez. up. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. The first review that came up is, uh, it's the greatest Dark Souls game in a decade. That's high fucking praise. I mean, I don't know, man. Like, so here's the thing: is that I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like I'm shocked at, at how much I've been enjoying it. Uh, I also, though, realize that the people that really like Dark Souls titles, uh, they get a little hyperbolic whenever anything mm. Souls-like comes out. So yeah. they're just like, "Wow, hell point! It's a, it's a, it's a good attempt, and it's a seven out of ten. And you're like, "What? What? Mm -hmm. what, what? What? That isn't what? Uh, All right? Uh, huh? Okay. So yeah, Cold Symmetry is the is the is the developer." Yeah. And they are based in, it doesn't say on their website, poor form. Um, references, reception. Well, what the fuck? Does. So, yeah, Matt, does here's, not say. The, okay. here's the place that we saw in our vision. Oh. This giant tower. Oh. I'm going to try to go in there. Um, okay. There's a guy that's guarding it, but if I can get in there, I can show you what, like, one of the spokes to the world looks ah. like. Um, spokes is hey, a good way to. Come, come, okay, come, here, come here. You hey, co come hey, here. Hey, fucking find something besides yeah. a helmet. That also, the parrying is is like accessible. Ooh, fuck. Um, yeah, I was gonna say it doesn't. Uh, of course, my. I'm not. I, I think Sekiro gave me PTSD because. <laughs> also, this game has some Sekiro DNA. Um, mm -hmm. Whoa! There it is. Oh, you so just got knocked out of I your shell. I just got knocked out of the shell, and you get one chance to go back in and do it again. You can die twice. Oh, <laughs> fuck. Well, there you go. But if you die a second time, then you're, you're, fucked. you're done's out. Uh, well, that was a waste. Mm -hmm. um, and what's weird is that there's also a shrine that I found that's like, hey, uh, if you if you say yes to this dialogue, we will take away your shell, and you'll never get another one. So you have to play the game with just the the, the base, the no health, like 
weird looking Prometheus guy from the beginning. What the uh, fuck? Yeah. So that happens. Um, wow. But I'm going to go ahead and skip these motherfuckers and get down here. Whoa. God damn it. I, I also like the fact that arrows don't just like obliterate you. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's another shell. This is how you get a shell. Oh. So oh. this guy. This is the guy with a million hit points and very little stamina. Large boy. Yes. Uh, he's got some really kicking armor. That's pretty badass. Um, I, I got to say, I, I'm still figuring out exactly what this whole deal is of this game. But <laughs> the... Um, What's your deal, Mortal What's Shell? You? I do... I, I don't know. There's... Uh, so now look at his health bar. Oh, shit. But then he only shit. has two parries. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, sp uh, the man see. is more than just a sleeve. So um, I'm going to let oh. this guy... He is there to he's knock me Sauron into motherfucker. the fucking middle of next oh, week. Oh, he's kind of a kind of a minotaur motherfucker. Um, uh, I've never I, actually fought him. I'm I kind of like him how I kind of like how strangely. Whoa, here he comes. Okay, I'm not going to fight how him. How strangely tender uh, your your uh, mortal is when kind of going down and interacting with the the shells with the bodies oh yeah um, there's just a lot there's little touches to this yeah that just, makes it feel more than just a janky souls like yep exactly yeah mm. it's it definitely is doing its own thing and it's using souls as a base and i this is the closest i've gotten in one since probably around the surge two mm -hmm. uh so here i'm gonna try this um, Eternal Narthex. Eternal Narthex. Oh, hey, how you doing? What's up? The entrance is not far. Oh, it's like a statue. But you may regret trespassing. Oh, that's weird. Don't tell me what to do. I speak oh, no, okay. Only of my brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. <laughs> that's what that means, y'all. Brothers right. and sisters. Just as every flame casts a shadow, so too does the spirit. That's hmm. Stupid. Ghosts don't have <laughs> shadows. Not that you know of. Reflection. Birth from a broken mirror. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broken. Best not to burden yourself with such thoughts. Okay, cool. All right. Fucking give me the tar. Give me the tar. I want to drink the tar. Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, and we can seek the name of this character. Who is? Eridim, the Venerable. I'm actually going to skip this uh, because we're almost out of time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to show you what it's like when you get a new weapon. Okay. So in order to get any weapon besides the one I've got, you've got to go to one of the end of one of these spokes. Okay. And then you have to do this. Oh. Which I don't understand. Even a little bit, Matt. All right, so what oh. happens next? Oh, oh no, spider. Oh, oh, no, oh, it's in you. No, oh, it's in you. No, the page Why is it into in a spider Why and it went it inside in of me? Why is it inside of you? And now oh. we're going back to the fish land. What? Yep. And we have to fight that guy that we fought, and we have to win, and then we get whatever weapon he's got in his hand. All right, the end. <laughs> uh, <laughs> are we? Are we the mortal now, or no? We're still the shell. We still oh. got the same shell. Okay. We still have the same rules. We just have to fight Hattern, but now he's got the weapon that we want. So he's got these fast scythes that I would like to get. That I would like them to be mine now, please. Um, it's more like a pickaxe. It's a pickaxe and a... God damn it. Fuck you is my name. It's a pickaxe and a... Oh, fuck you. Screw you, Benny. There you go. But you also get the second chance with him. Okay, yeah. Um, oh, fuck off. Parrying is really the way to yeah. go with him. God, but he's so fast. This is the fast weapon. God damn it! Whoa. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'm trying to parry Shadows die too twice. Much. Shadows die twice. And oh. death. Yeah, if you have like almost no hit points when you're in that form. So, wow. Yeah. So a lot. <laughs> what, <laughs> shit. What going on here? Fucking uh, a. a lot going on here, Matt. A are lot we, going on here. Are we doing two parts of this? Yes, we are oh. going to come back tomorrow. Actually, I gotta say this is the most immediately invested I've been in a game <laughs> since that we played in a while. Uh, that wasn't me uh, 
screaming about um, robots Shit. or kaiju. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh, here, give me that. Also, uh, when you die. Okay, no, wait. Never mind. I'm wrong. Get your tar. Say, yeah. Oh, fuck you. Shit. Ah. There you go. Man, he's a toughie. Yeah, he is. Also, this is not the guy that I want to have this fight with. Okay. Uh, because of, I want somebody with more stamina than he has. Ah. Uh, um, oh, fuck off. That was totally when I was supposed to hit it. Have okay. you... Have you... Have you... Shit. You fought him before, right? I actually... Yeah, I just got this weapon, actually. God fucking damn it. Ah, my oh, man. Timing. It's just so... Do you think this might be an off-screen fight, or...? Uh, maybe. I don't know. I... Oh, what a douche. Ah, that punch. And the, the delay, the just... It's, it's, the timing is just... Okay. Nope. Ah, oh, so close. Yeah, the timing is weird. Ah, yep, fuck, he got there me. There it is. All right, so... Shadow's Eye twice, Shadow's Eye twice, Shadow's Eye twice, Shadow's Eye twice. Oh, shit. No. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Let's give it one more shot, and, right, then, uh, right. and then we'll take a break, and I'll do it the... Or I'll get close in the inner... Also, no pause, though. So oh. I don't know why... Uh, you, you, like, you, when you pause, it doesn't actually pause the game. Um, like, it, it's like Souls where it right. keeps going, keeps and going. I'm like, why? <laughs> but in any case, I don't know. This is a really interesting game. Like, this is sure. a really fascinating... Um, this is really fascinating to me and just so different. Like, uh, you know me, Matt. I'm a sucker for anything that's different and new right. and interesting. And so, um, but I'm hoping. Okay. God damn it. Really? That should have not have happened. It is very cool to see these two, these two beings with similar abilities. Uh, matching wits against each other. This, you know... Fuck you. Both have this stone skin ability. Oh, he's a smart motherfucker. Um, I mean, it's the best part of Souls, is right. dueling. Uh, oh. Jeez. Oh, there you go. shit. Oh. I just didn't do the repost. But that's okay, because I didn't lose it. Oh, come on. Ah. That was totally the right move. Ooh, ooh. Oh, fuckery. It's also a very different rhythm because um, of the uh, cooldown on the block. It's not like you don't just hold down block, right? right. Um, you need to, like, very specifically hit it at a specific goddamn time. I can really see Miyazaki sitting down to play this and being like, oh, shit. Mm, this is a good idea. What you got? Oh, nope. That was the wrong button. <laughs> why can't I... Why am I, like, not allowed to harden at this point? There we go. There you go. So that's what you really want to do. And then you want to hit him with some, um, a lot of hardens uh, in order to recharge that. Gotcha. Ooh, fuck. That just, that just cold cock, man. Like, it's <laughs> it's no good. Nope. Fuck, oh, really? Fuck. Okay. Oh, he's got that follow through, man. Oh, man. What the fuck was that he even supposed like to be? He like mid-harden. Yeah. Fuck, dude. This fucking guy. I mean, this is definitely Whoa. not Farts. a soul-style fire where you can just sort of juke and shuck and jive. It's more about trying to read the moves. So you saw the little, the little loop go red. Mm -hmm. uh, that means that that was an unblockable attack. Uh, ah. Or unparryable attack. So Ooh, you're getting deep over there. Hey. 
Oh, man. But see, I still have a whole other health bar. Okay. Uh, as long oh. as he doesn't... Uh, doesn't doesn't un unshell you. As long as yeah, as long as, long as he doesn't, doesn't kill me. Oh right, right While right. I'm out of the shell. Um, gotcha. Oh. There so, you go. There we go. Now I got a Life whole second chance. Life is suffering. Oh man, I think you might have him. I might. I might. Fuck that you. cold cock is really good. There's also some combo stuff that you'll see. Uh, with different, like, heavy and light attacks, like alternating. Ooh. Ah, fuck off. Come on. Just, I know you're going to do it. Yep. In slow motion. Fuck. I got to watch that guy punch me in slow motion. <laughs> Ah, oh, man. Uh, one of us is going to have to change. <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. It's intense. Ugh. Oh, come on. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. I feel like, yeah, I feel like if you can get him. Oh, fuck. I feel like if you could fucking parry him. There oh, we there go. you go. I can do it when he jumps. Oh, man, you go. fucking got him. You fucking go. got, got him. him. Yeah, yep. nice work. So that's how you get new weapons. <gasps> you have to have a boss fight in order to have a new weapon <gasps> in this game. And it's always Hadron here. Um, it's always Hadron, huh? It's always Hadron using the weapon that you're trying to get. And but like I said, there's only four weapons. There's this sword, a giant sword, the the pickaxe and the knife that he was using, and then like a big stick. And that's, that's all there is. <sighs> so... Yeah, um, I don't know. We'll have to decide next time whether we want to continue on from here because I've really been just dicking around in that opening area to make sure that I wasn't like, I wouldn't look like an asshole when we played. Okay, good. Um, oh, I see now. Or we could go forward into whatever this area is and find a boss. Uh, so this is that weapon that he just had, and it's got the same move set, right? Ooh, so, nice. um, or it might have part of the same move set. It's a faster weapon. Yeah. Uh, which means that this is the worst build because <laughs> I have a guy with very little stamina yes. and then a weapon that requires a lot of stamina to uh, to, to hit with. Yeah. But in any case, we're going to wrap it up there. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hit the like, subscribe button. Uh, Patreon.com forward slash rage like. Helps out. The money. With the money. The money, money, money. You give us the money, you get to the Discord server, money. you get the uh, bonus videos, all kinds of shit. Who's There's this guy, guy there? Never seen. It. You remember how much trouble we had with like the second guy oh. in Hellpoint, Matt? He's got a hammer. That's true. I got hardened, though. He's kind of like the previous guys, but this guy, he's got the. He's kind of got the same moveset, but with a hammer. Whoa. Um. Oh, yeah. Also, these things do poison. Um, Patreon.com forward slash Rachel. Yeah, that thing. Uh, Amazon links are down below. Uh, help us out. Matt, where can the people find you on them old internetos? <laughs> on the you, internetos. You guys can find me uh, at mattfrankart.net is my main website. Uh, this weekend... On oh, South. Oh, Jesus, oh. no! Okay, well, that was no good. That uh, was no good part. This weekend, y'all can find me on twitch.tv oh, oh. slash mattzilla85. I'm going to be doing some art. I've got uh, my assistant, Kasten, with me. She was a big hit on the last few streams, so she's going to oh, be... Oh, God, no! Knocked right out of my body. Uh, hit me so hard, I'm a soul now. Oh, oh and he hit okay. me so hard. And now you're dead. Um, Anyway, uh, that's what we're doing. Uh, that's what I'm doing this weekend. Um, uh, the Gamera box set appear, appears to be sold out just about everywhere. Oh, good job, Matt. Well, I, it, Matt brought it over last week. That shit is tweet. Thank you. If you I, are a Gamera fan, you need it. I hope you can get a hold of it. That's the concern. Yeah. <laughs> so, I don't know. I've seen it going up on eBay for about twice as much as it was on Amazon. Do so, what? Yeah. Matt, you're Nintendo now. Oh, am I? Just, uh... Please. Oh. Oh yeah, I haven't died yet. Okay, good. Uh, this this mask. No, I mean like, I I hadn't died up until that point oh, in the world. Gotcha. Because you get the mask. Uh, gotcha. So, anyway, right. yep. That's it. Yep. Bye.